This is CPS and ACS Defense Attorney Elliot Schlissel. Today I'm going to talk to you about CPS or ACS removing children from their home. CPS and ACS are not law enforcement agencies. They are social service agencies, but both CPS and ACS have tremendous power to impact on families. And this power is the power to remove children from their parents' home. The alleged real purpose for ACS and CPS to have this power is to protect children from future child abuse and child neglect. The purpose has nothing to do with punishing families. However, when children are removed from a parent's home or the home from other loved ones, this is punishment for both the children and the family members. CPS and ACS have no criminal police power. They cannot take any action against the perpetrators of child abuse or child neglect. Their only power is to remove the children from their home. In cases where one of the parents of the children is a victim of abuse by the other parent, the victim in these cases, the non-offending parent, is punished by losing custody of the children. Domestic violence is an area involving CPS and ACS. If there's domestic violence in a household or abuse or neglect of a child, the CPS or ACS worker can take action to protect the child. To avoid the child being in the presence of the perpetrator of the violence, CPS or ACS will seek to remove the child from the household. Then CPS and ACS investigates the non-violent parent. They look into whether the victim of the domestic violence protected the children from witnessing the abuse should the victim have known improper actions were taken against the child or the child was witnessing the abuse can be the basis for removing the child from that parent's home. In conclusion, the victim, the parent who's a victim of domestic violence gets punished twice. Once by being victimized by the other parent and second, they get victimized by CPS and ACS. This is APA ACS and CPS defense lawyer Elliot Schlissel saying goodbye.